Okay guys, time for the part two. Sorry for the delay. Weather has not been kind to me and today it's actually been fairly warm. So what I want to show you is the little idea that I came up with. I had some scrap, as you can see, it's got some pieces missing, but it works the way I want it to do. I don't want to mount this to my bench. I want this to be somewhat portable. So the other thing is this part can be removed and used as a portable jig. So my idea is to have it overhang just a little bit on the wood so that I can get to the bottom screws, which I'll show in a little bit. Um, there's bottom screws here that you can remove, and then this whole thing comes off as you saw in my first video. You know, if you haven't, go back to watch that one. Um, so right now I'm just mounting this, oops, knocking the camera, with some sheetrock screws because the screws that came with this are too long for this board. If I was mounting it into my bench itself, I'd probably use those. So I'm just going to be very careful. These fit perfectly. Um, still a little gentle. You don't want to go crazy to overshoot your you know, screws. Once this is mounted on here, they are countersunk. So it is flush. I'm going to have to adjust the thickness here um let's see i had uh a, ah, i don't know where it went so i'm gonna pause and be right back with a piece of wood to put in here okay i'm back sorry about that all right so i want to adjust the spacing on these this is just a demonstration for now um i actually have oops, wrong allen key I have a um, project, as you know, I'm working on a table, so I want that to be around one, tighten that down, space this one out, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, if I bring the camera back, hopefully there's not too much shadow here that you can't see what I'm doing, there's a screw here, I guess because of the black you really can't see it. I just want to move this over to one. Just the spacing I liked on my test piece. Tighten that down. Okay, we'll put the Allen key back over here. All right, so now the idea that I have is for a table. So theoretically the wood would go on you know, top of this, whatever. Um, I'm going to be butt jointing. So I have to adjust. My, you know, this is gonna be fun. You know, I don't know if I can get this in camera. Let's see if I can bring this around here. There we go. I kind of brought you around. All right. So basically, I need to adjust my depth a little bit more here. There we go. Yep, need a little bit more. There we go. Why don't you hear that pop? You know you're good. See? Oop. That's locked. So now I take this screw here, yeah, you can see that good, and I tighten that one down. That'll make this not go backwards on me. So it'll always be where I want it to be. So now I can take this, and I'm gonna center it out as best as possible. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna offset this and readjust the, come back here. I'm moving the camera all over the place. Now you're looking at my floor and darkness. Let me see if I can turn my... Ah, there we go. Now you can see what I'm doing. All right, so now back to adjusting this. This is unclamped, so obviously I can see where I'm going. I want to move this over to two. My test piece was a little bit smaller. So I'm going to line that up. And I'm going to tighten this down. Same thing here, I want to kind of, oh no, it's about where I want it to be. So if I move this over to being centered, yeah, let me move this over a little bit more. Put the Allen key, if I can hold things today, come on, Allen key in, I really tighten that one down. All right, move this over, uh, right about there. That was good. We'll sit at the one and a half mark. 
this is all based off of your own personal preference. You don't have to follow this. I'm just eyeballing my spacing. So now I can come back here, lock that in. This isn't going anywhere. Now I just need to chuck up my bit. Because I already set the depth, which I showed in my first video. How to do. So I want to kick this up. I want to be on high. Hopefully my battery is good for this. We'll see. All right. I think I... Oh. You know what? Let me just double check this before I do this. So we're going to pop that off. I'm going to drop this in. Okay, it's not going to touch the, the base. Line, quick lock, chalk it back up again, and hope I have enough charge in this battery. Helps to lock my chuck, but you know, you got the idea right there. Okay. Make sure this is locked this time. And do the other one now. Okay. okay. One thing I like about this is camera should have picked up on if my hand wasn't in the way. Sawdust is coming out here on the side. So it's not shooting out in my way. It's off the sides and down to the ground and out of my way. If I wanted to have a little shop vac right here with a wide mouth, it would scoop this right up with no problem. Now we can pop this off, tap out the dust inside, and we are good to test the screw next. So be right back. Okay, so I have this little scrap piece of wood for now. Um, so what I wanted to do was look at their chart really quick, because I have a feeling I gotta grab the my screw kit to get my screws for this. So I think I need a smaller screw than what I grabbed. Uh, where is the another minor add that I'm gonna have to slip in there because this might be a jumpy video a little bit? Is um, I was actually incorrect on my screw length. I used these, which are one and. What is that one? One and a half inch screws when in reality I needed to use two inch screws. Um, over here we have the list and the board is actually one and three eighths, which is two inch, which is what I just put into here thinking, oh, well, let me see what happens. I have a feeling it might blow out, but it did not in any direction. There is no blowout. And this thing is even stronger than it was before. So, yeah, I that's my whoops. So, just wanted to correct that really quick. I don't know if I'm going to edit this in at the end of the video or if I'm just going to interject this into the middle where I said the screw size. Alrighty, I'll see you soon. The tabletop will be on here. This will be on the inside because obviously you don't want to be looking at the screws. Now, what I like about this one is the fact that I can chuck the drill and there's a little tiny one. I don't need the really long one and I don't, for things like this, I don't know, the really long one just bothers me. All right, uh, how can I do this on camera? Let's see if I turn this this way. Yeah, that should work. I don't exactly have a clamp, so I'm going to be doing this with my hand here, holding it in place. Now, these are self-tapping. So once they go in, like they just did, it should... There we go. Pull it together. Perfect. And my chuck is loose again. New drill, getting used to it. Now I can take this one, bam. Now, I 
this nice and flush. Nice and flush here. There's no bumps at all. Stayed even. Can't see it. I can put my tabletop down now onto this. This is going to be my, I guess this would be the rails. Would be a, I don't know what the terms are anymore. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, there you go. That's the, yeah, there goes my voice. I can't break this apart. So one thing I would suggest if you're new to this, if you screw up your measurements on your depth, just take a screw and kind of look at it at an angle and go, well, I'm not going to blow out. But as long as your threads are mostly in, this shaft here is, is just going to pull this piece into it. So you're going to become tight no matter what. That's one thing I love about pocket holes. People complain about it all the time. Oh my God, that's, you know, junk joinery. To me, I love it. So here we go. We now have our basic demonstration here. I do plan, as said in my first video, to do a full table like this, which I will. I'm still acquiring the parts, sadly, because um, I grossly misjudged what I had on hand when I took on the task. And I kind of have a rush deal to get this done because, you know, my guinea pig is not too happy on the floor. He would like to be elevated where it's nice and warm. So um, this is just going to be a quick demonstration of this. And then I'll have a larger video of the actual assembly of a table and drilling the bits and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to have to figure out better camera angles than this, but hopefully this gets the point across. All right, so this is the part two demonstration so far. I take this down here. There we go. You can see it's mounted. Oh, that's what I wanted to show you. Ugh, if I come under here, get the lighting right, you can see here's the two screws because it's overhanging now. So now I can actually remove this completely off and use it as my portable jig, which again, that's the point of this. This is a three-in-one jig. You can use it mounted, which you can leave this bit clamped down. I didn't want a permanent structure, so this worked out great the way this is. Um... You can take this off and use this as a portable piece, or you can take the individual pieces off and use them as little tiny ones to go around and clamp with a clamp, and then you drill your holes and whatnot. Um, so this came out really good. Let's see. I'm trying to clean it up a little bit. Obviously, the drill bit is going to take the paint off inside here because you're running the bit through here. Yeah, there you can see how it's now... Shiny silver instead of gold, or whatever color that is, green or gold or whatever, but it works. It's, it, it, I like it. So there you have it. That is the, there you go, you can see here that I'm not messing around, that it's the Milwaukee uh, jig, and that is part two. I guess part three is whenever I can get these pieces cut and assembling the table and all that jazz. But I need legs and I need another 2x4 apparently. So uh, hopefully this helps somebody. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye now. Quick little fun ad. I happen to have the micro wrench here. Um, I'm going to have to find the link for it for you guys. Um, I love this thing. It's nice and small, compact, works great. Well, it also holds the pocket hole jig thing. So now you can set your switch. You can tighten things down. So if your drill is too big to get into a spot, well, there you go. You can use that. <laughs> just a little thing that I thought was cute because I just happened to see it sitting here and went, oh yeah, let me try that. And it worked. So I figured I would share. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.